Hello all you beautiful people and welcome to my video. My name is Alex aka In The Bat Loop and I just wanted to do a quick video and talk about Flower and Garden. It is officially over at Epcot but it doesn't mean it's the end of it to talk about food, the festivals, my favorite items from Flower and Garden of 2023. So this video is just going to break down all the different foods that I enjoyed and maybe rank it in my what I thought were the top five best foods at Flower and Garden and show around the topiaries one last time as we're getting ready for Food and Wine Festival 2023, which will happen and come in a few weeks. That Then the date for that is July 27th through November 18th of 2023. So a very long festival, one of my favorite festivals, but we'll get to that when that festival starts. But let's get into Flower and Garden. It is my second favorite festival, only because of the food choices are better than Festival of the Arts. But it's a very beautiful festival to go to. It's lots of flowers, lots of colors, and lots of good food. So, if you're someone that is big on flower and garden, let me know in the comments below. If you have a different festival that is your favorite, let me know in the comments below. But these right here, personally, are my opinion, my top five favorite foods from flower and garden. All right, so this one will throw a bunch of you off, but number five is the braised oxtail. It never tried this before i've never had oxtail and it was actually really good i was pleasantly surprised by the flavor the only thing that could have nitpicked maybe is the it was kind of like a gravy sauce that they kind of put with it it might have been like the seasoning was a little bit off but overall everything in that bowl tasted really good and i believe i gave it like a nine out of ten bat so that one made it in my top five. So if you've gone to Flower and Garden, you had the braised oxtail, let me know in the comments below. But that one made it to number five. So number four on my list is one of my favorites that continues to come back for Flower and Garden, and it is the hot dog. And this isn't just your ordinary hot dog. It is a spicy hot dog with plantain chips on top. It has pineapple chutney sauce right on top. If for those who are not aware of what that is, it's something that originated from India. It's involved, it's like a condiment with some spices and I think that's what adds to the spice of the hot dog. Really good flavor. The chips on top are great. Great hot dog, good size. And if you're a big fan of hot dogs, you cannot go wrong with this. It's one of my favorites that comes back, you know, the multiple years that I've gone to Flower and Garden. So if you're in the mood for a hot dog, you're okay with the spice and the pineapple chutney, then you definitely need to get this one. You will enjoy it, I promise you that. Number three on my list is a coconut flavored tres leches cake. And you guys, I love, love, love tres leches cake. So if you're a big fan of tres leches, you gotta be okay with coconut because there's a little bit of coconut flavoring to it. It is so good, it was so delicious to the point where I almost went back in line to buy another one. This one did get a 10 out of 10 bats, but as you can see, a good size. It was nice and moist, delicious, great flavor, and great like minor coconut flavor. So definitely have to get this if it comes back next year for Flower and Garden. All right, so the number two on my list is the Impossible Lumpia with sweet Thai chili. First off, I'm a big fan of sweet Thai chili sauce, anything, wings, anything. So the fact that these had that on top just made it so good. And this is a vegan option, hence the name Impossible Lumpia. So if you're out there on a diet or if it's just your preference, this is a good choice. Can't go wrong with it. Hopefully they bring it back next year for Flower and Garden. Let's get to my number one. So excited to talk about this one. It is the cheesy crab wontons. These always come back for flower and garden. I always get excited. I brag to everybody, spread the news that if you go to flower and garden, you have to and must buy and try the 
crab cheese wontons. I mean, if you're a big fan of it, you will not get disappointed. I'm telling you, went with a friend this year and she tried it and was like, it's really good. So if you want to try probably one of the best crab cheese wontons you've ever tried, go try it at this festival flowering garden. When it comes back next year, it is my number one. That one got a 10 out of 10. The only disappointing thing about it is they, they used to come with four and knock down the three and they were a little bit bigger, but you know, Disney, I guess, got to do what it has to do to cut cost. Anyways, that is my top five favorite foods at Flower and Garden. For those of you who are watching, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Consider subscribing because I cover everything food wise when it comes to theme parks and anywhere else. And I love talking about them. If you haven't yet, follow me on my Instagram. It's where I post all my beautiful pictures of the food that I try when I go to these places. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Flower and Garden is over. Food and Wine is coming up next. And of course, In the Bat Loop will be there to share more of my insights and my top favorites for Food and Wine, my favorite festival. It's coming and I will be there. I hope you guys have a magical day. Thank you for being here and good night.